How's it going guys? It's the Crypto Oracle here and today I'm partnering with Coinergy to show you guys how to set a stop limit or a stop loss order on Coinergy's V2 trading platform. Now step number one is if you haven't seen the first video on how to set up your first trade or your first order on Coinergy and you haven't done so in the past, please check that out. That's going to walk you through a basic limit order and that's going to be a precursor to learning how to set a stop limit or a stop loss order on Coinergy as well. So a stop limit or a stop loss order is actually a little bit logically confusing. It's going to go ahead and sell your coin at a certain price once it hits a determined price. So I'm going to walk through the order and hopefully it'll explain things if you haven't heard of this before. First, I'm going to show you guys what's commonly referred to as a stop loss order because most of the time you're using these orders to stop your losses on the downside. Assuming that a coin breaks down and is going lower than a price, then you want to hold the coin at. So our first step after we have our account set up and all of our balances here, you're going to want to switch it from a limit order to a stop limit and we're doing a stop loss so it's going to be a sell side order the first number you're going to need to determine and enter is your stop price now this is going to be the most important number because as soon as the bitcoin price on the sell side goes below your stop price your order will be submitted at your us dollar price per bitcoin or your sell price so let's look at this chart and let's just say i wanted to sell the bitcoin that i was holding as soon as bitcoin went below seventy five hundred dollars let's say that i believe that seventy five hundred is a critical support for bitcoin just for an example and if we break below this i want to sell my bitcoin here's what we're going to want to do we're gonna set our stop price at that 7,500 such that whenever we hit or go below 7,500, our order will be placed. Let's determine how much Bitcoin we wanna sell. Let's say I wanna sell 10% of my current balance or about 0.1 Bitcoin. Then we wanna set our actual sell price. So once our price in the Bitcoin US dollar tether hits 7,500, we're gonna to wanna to sell at what price? Now, yes, you can just sell at 7,500, and once we hit 7,500, your order to sell your Bitcoin will be set at 7,500. But that's not always the smartest thing to do, especially with a stop loss. A lot of the times you're gonna wanna set your actual sell price slightly below your stop price. This guarantees that your Bitcoin or your coin will sell at this price. So if I was trading this, I would set an actual sell price of maybe 74.75. And what this is going to do, the actions that will transgress would be once we hit 75 or go lower than 75 on the chart and our price reflects this, we're going to set a sell order that will automatically be submitted to sell at 74.75. So as soon as our price comes down, hits that 7,500, our order will automatically be placed right below there at 74.75. And this is going to ensure that your coin sells whenever our price is dropping. Finally, this is the US dollar that you'll receive at this price, at our sell price, not at our stop price. Our stop price, the 7,500, is just gonna determine when this order will be placed. So this order will be placed once we hit or go lower than 7,500, and that's gonna sell at $760 at the price of 74.75 per coin. Finally, you just click sell and your order will stay in the system until you hit the 7500 or you go below there. Now on the buy side is a little less common and it's most commonly referred to as a stop limit. Let's say that instead of selling at a certain price, you want to buy Bitcoin once it goes above a certain price. Let's say you believe that Bitcoin is going to blast off as soon as we go above 10,000, hypothetically of course. We can set our line right at around 10,000 and let's say as soon as we hit it, we want to make a buy order just over 10,000, maybe $10,050. Let's set that up. So first we're going to want to switch it to the limit or stop order. We're going to make sure we're on the buy side. We're going to set our stop price. So let's go ahead and set that to 10,000 so that once we hit 10,000 or go above it we're gonna wanna buy or submit a order. Let's say at 10,000, we wanna buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. This is going to secure us about 0.01 Bitcoin by buying at this price. 
but we want to set our actual buy price first. So this is going to need to be near our stop price. So if we want to buy as soon as we go above 10,000, we can set this to $10,050. What this is going to do is submit a buy order at $10,050 as soon as we either hit or go above the $10,000 price. This is very similar to the sell side or the stop loss, except we're flipped. So that my friends is how to set a stop limit as well as a stop loss on both the buy and sell sides on Coinergy's V2. You can find the rest of my content by going on YouTube and searching Crypto Oracle or by going to Twitter and looking up at Oracle of Crypto. But I appreciate you guys watching this. Hopefully this will teach a lot of people how to set up and start using some of these preferred stop loss orders. Thank you guys for watching and good luck trading this week.